Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys nine books that got me out of a reading slump and could possibly get you out of reading slump as well. Before we get into the books that I want to discuss in today's video, I do want to introduce today's sponsor of the video. Book of the Month was so kind enough to sponsor today's video and they also sent me five books for their February Book of the Month pick to show you guys and talk about. So first and foremost, the book that they sent me in the box is Peach Blossom's Spring, which can we just look at the cover of this book? Like it is so, so freaking pretty. Like anyways, Book of the Month is currently running their Valentine's Day sale and you can use the code BEMINE in all caps to get your first book from Book of the Month for $9.99. You guys know that I absolutely love Book of the Month. I absolutely love how professional they are and just how beautiful the books are. They're hardcover books for so much less money than you would get at a bookstore like Barnes & Noble. And one of the best things about Book of the Month that I have to say is one of my favorite things about them is you can skip any month that you want and they won't charge you. Whereas some subscription services will actually charge you for the month even if you don't use it. So like I said, if you guys are interested in signing up for Book of the Month, you get your first book for $9.99 if you use the code Be Mine for Valentine's Day. They sent me four other books, so let's go through those really quickly. The second book that they sent me is Vladimir. Um, this one kind of looks like, I want to say, mm, a relationship kind of book mm, looks kind of good the next book that they sent me is the golden couple and i really really like this cover um i don't know why but just like it just is very aesthetically pleasing for me the next book is don't cry for me and the last one is a river enchanted which i don't know why but this just kind of reminds me like this kind of just looks like a greek mythology book for some reason like the cover just kind of like screams greek mythology i don't know if it is or not but thank you to book of the month for sponsoring today's video and like i said if you guys are interested in signing up with them the code will be down in the description box below so that you guys can check them out all right well, let's get on into today's video like i said i am going to be sharing with you guys nine books today that got me out of a reading slump not necessarily were they all five star reads most of these are five star reads or like four star plus reads um but yeah, these books were just super, super good and I had to share them with you guys. First book I want to talk about is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. <sighs> Colleen Hoover has such I mean, has, has me in such a chokehold with her books. It's, it's bad. <laughs> One thing to note about this book is it does go into depth about domestic violence and intimate partner violence situations. So if that is something that is a little more tough for you to kind of read about, I don't suggest reading this one but i do think it is very important to read because it kind of goes into how it's hard to understand why a woman wouldn't leave unless you were in the situation yourself they even have a quote in here that kind of talks about that because one of the main characters her backstory she kind of has an abusive backstory with her parents and then she herself kind of gets into an abusive relationship while she's still kind of having flashbacks from when she was a kid so I thought this book was super super good there was so much that i like tabbed in this book and so much that i underlined this is like also the first time that i've like written in a book like when i say written i mean like put my thoughts out on the paper in the book and i just thought it was really really good and i have to share it with you guys because it is so 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 good this has been trending all over book talk and booktube so i definitely recommend this this is definitely worth the hype and you guys should definitely read it the next book is one of my favorites i've talked about it in a recent video i don't talk about it again because it is one of my favorite freaking books ever verity by colleen hoover <sighs> this book let me just tell you this book has so many twists and turns that I did not know what was going to happen. I knew it was a spooky book. I knew I was going to be creeped out. Verity by Colleen Hoover is a romance slash murder mystery kind of book, sort of. But it is so, 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 so good. I ended up giving this book a five stars. And this one, I went through like that. Like, it is just so, so good. And it can definitely pull you out of a reading slump. It's just super, super fast paced. Like, it just goes right into the story. There's no just like, everything is just go, go, go. I feel like fast paced books can be good if written in a good way, which Colleen Hoover is super, super good about. And Verity is definitely like one of those top, top books. Going along with um, It Ends With Us, this book does have some more mature content in it. So definitely search up the trigger warnings before reading it or before buying it but i do definitely recommend it because it is just so insanely amazing twists and turns that this book took i'm trying so hard not to give spoilers but like it's so hard not to because mm, if you get what i mean you get what i mean and if anybody's curious i'm team manuscript um there's no way there's no way that's all i'm gonna say all i'm gonna say so the next 
four books are actually all in a series. You guys can probably guess what it is. The Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I just dropped a book. The Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. All four of them are just so, so, so amazing. They're all unique in their own way. And if you guys have not read the Off Campus series, basically it's four separate books um, and they all kind of tie in together. I do recommend reading them in chronological order from one, two, three, four. Each book is about a different couple. Every couple kind of reappears in each book, sort of, except the first one, but um, it's four different couples and it kind of goes through their love story and their triumphs and their failures and kind of everything like that and just like how they got to be a couple and just all just their trial and error of being a couple and it's really really good they're also super super fast paced and i literally read all four of these like back to back within i want to say like a month span it's just super super good i'm addicted to them these are definitely books i would reread um i did end up tabbing the last book a crap ton i didn't tab the first three just because i was lazy but i did tab the last one and the last one is definitely my favorite which is sabrina and tucker the one with sabrina and tucker and it does have a pregnancy trope in it and i know people aren't really keen to the pregnancy trope the next couple of books i actually don't have with me physically because i either left them at home or i have friends borrowing them because i rent out my books but the other book that I want to talk about is One of Us is Lying by Karen McMackis. I think I said her name right. I hope so. This was one of the first books that I read in 2021 when I got back into reading. And I read it within a week and it was so, so good. I just feel like murder mystery books can always get you back into reading and get you out of a reading slump. Just because it's one of those things where you don't know what's going to happen next. And you want to know what happens next. And it just, it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you interested. Um, one of the other things I liked about the book is just the whole investigation part of it as well. Like all the secrets that were being like revealed. It was always something each chapter. There was, it was just always super interesting every chapter. There wasn't ever like a boring spot, so to say. So that one is really, really good. And I definitely recommend that one as well. The next book that I'm going to recommend is also within a series and I haven't read the whole series yet, but I'm going to promote the series because I just know it's going to be good and I just know I'm going to like it. Girl's Guide to Murder series. I'm currently reading Good Girl Bad Blood at the moment. I'm about 30% on the way through at the moment and I can already tell it's going to be like a four or five star read. It's so so good the books just automatically jump right into the plot and it's super super plot driven there are obviously like side plots like romance in it but it's not focused on mainly it's mostly the investigation that is happening within it and it is just amazing if you guys don't know what good girl's guide to murder is it's basically about this girl our main character pip who is investigating a hometown murder that happened in her hometown for her senior capstone project and along the way she pretty much discovers a crap ton of stuff about the investigation the initial investigation that was wrong and at the end there's like a bunch of big twists like i I just gotta say there when i was reading the book i thought i knew what was gonna happen at the end like i guessed who you know murdered Addie bell but there were just so many other side plots to it that tied into the main plot that were just what the fuck <laughs> the author read it so so well and it was just amazing and i definitely definitely recommend you guys read it because it's just it's amazing it's definitely one of those books for you to get into murder mystery reading if you aren't so into it i would definitely say that's a great great place to start i also want to promote the audiobook because the audiobook is fantabulous the i don't know who who does it but whoever is doing the audiobook is literally like killing it it is amazing and for anybody who has listened to the audiobooks of the good girl's guide to murder series you kind of know what i'm talking about if you don't try it out for yourself and let me know because i think it's just amazing and it's one of my favorites last book that i want to talk about is punk 57 by penelope douglas i read this book in the beginning of the school year this year and i knew i was gonna like it i already knew i was gonna be obsessed with it the story and the plot line is just amazing the banter the romance the conflict the tension is amazing another thing to note about penelope douglas's books is they write very steamy steamy books very matured content 
so I don't recommend reading it if you are kind of young and if you do I am not responsible <laughs> for if your parents find out but I definitely do recommend it it's a really really good book it's super super fast paced it's very very interesting it kind of has secrets involved with it like I don't know it's just one of those books where you're just like in your head you're just like oh my god I really really liked it I stayed up late so many nights reading that book and I finished it so so fast so I really recommend that book obviously if you're in the matured age range of that book those are all of the nine books that uh, I have for you guys today to recommend if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then comment down below any books that got you guys out of reading slumps I would love to add them to my TBR and if you guys are interested in joining the discord book club it's in the link in the description box below as well as my book wish list is in the description box below as well and all of my social media is linked down there below as well <laughs> anyways I'm gonna go and I hope you guys have a great day I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stake Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on